Hey, Internet! Praise be to God on this glorious day! Welcome back to more shenanigans in Harvest Moon 64. So, hey! Tomorrow's forecast! It will rain from the morning and continue all day. Tomorrow will be our first rainy day! Awesome! Actually, what day? Actually, okay, that's a little less awesome, because that means Rix is going to be closed tomorrow, because he's closed when it's bad weather. Oh, bother. Oh, well. We'll just make the best of it. Ooh, potatoes have grown. Sweet. So it's just going to be another typical day. We gather some crops. Uh, we gather some stuff from the forest. Give gifts. That kind of stuff. Yeah, you can see there's the stumps around in the Moon Mountain area. You can cut those down and they'll regrow the next day. That's the way you get most of your lumber. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, let's see, have I used any stamina today? No, I don't think I've used any stamina today. Today's the day we're going to do something special with that egg we, uh, we're going to get from our chicken. So I have not used any tools today at all, which means my stamina is still uh, the same as it was in the morning when I woke up from my nap. I Yesterday I did not spend the night leveling up my watering can at all, mainly because I wanted to make sure I had maximum stamina this morning. And we're about to get into why I did that in just a little bit. So first thing we're going to do is ship all that stuff. Go in here. We pick that egg up. We're not going to feed our chicken just yet. We will eventually, but if we feed the chicken, that's going to take stamina. Basically, using any of the tools with the B button, that's going to deplete stamina. Picking stuff up, dropping them, though, takes no stamina. Alright, so what we're going to do... Is we're going to go to the back of the woods here, to the Goddess Pond screen here, and we're about to figure out why it's called the Goddess Pond screen. So basically, if you take anything that you've either that you've produced on your farm so it could be a crop or it could be something that came from your animals like say an egg and you throw it into this pond between the hours of 9 a.m and 5 p.m on any given day like so the goddess appears it's the harvest goddess an offering not many people give offerings anymore i'm very happy you're a spiritual person what's your wish so we have three different wishes, or we can go down here and say nothing. If we wish for weather, that means that when we sleep tonight and wake up in the morning, the weather for the next day will be sunny, guaranteed. So keep in mind, it will, because tomorrow is going to rain, if we wish for weather, that's not going to change tomorrow's weather. It'll change the day after tomorrow's weather to make sure it's sunny. That will come in handy a bit later. If we can wish for love, that'll basically take the girl who has the highest affection for us right now and increase her affection even more. So that, that'll be helpful for raising Maria's affection. Or what we can do is hit Strength. Now, if you choose Strength, that'll restore some of the stamina you've lost for the, the day. Or, if you wish for Strength when you have maximum stamina, you're full of energy now. I'll give you something else. And we get a Power Nut! Yeah! More maximum stamina. Sweet. Well, see you later. Good luck with your work. Thank you, Miss Goddess. And I'm sure you are wondering, like, I'm making a huge stink about, like, oh, stamina is so precious. Oh, hang on. Hey, dude. Hmm. Don't talk to me. You can't really make him like you, but you can at least try. Hello, nice weather, isn't it? But yeah, you're probably thinking, like, I'm making a way big of a stink over the stamina issue. And that, like, it's not that big a deal. Like, you don't need a whole lot of stamina in the game from what you've seen. That's mainly because I really am not using a lot of stamina. I only have three plots of plants that I'm growing at a time. That's not a lot. Like, come summer, I'm going to have at least five plots of crops going, and I'm not going to have enough stamina to water all of those. Plus, eventually, I'm going to start cutting lumber in the forest to build up my lumber supply so I can get some of the home expansions. So, believe me, stamina is very, very important. Hi, Ellie. Oh, thank you. That makes me happy. We're closed Mondays and holidays, too. Yes, yes, I've heard this. Welcome, please order something from the menu. So yeah, there's a menu over here, so you can order cake, pie, or tea. Ordering those will increase your stamina by a decent bit, but it also costs money. Or you can just order water, it's free, and it raises your stamina, I think, by one or two points. So technically, you can just 
guzzle down water and keep using your tools, but if you do that, you're going to get sick. Like, it's pretty much a guarantee. Hey, uh, Rick! How you doing? Oh, thank you so much. Hi, how's it going? Sorry, my shop's closed so often. So I, I hoped that I would be able to st get him to start repairing my music boxes tomorrow, but if it's gonna rain, that's actually not going to happen. We could buy the brush, but I'm not going to. Alright. So, we've got cabbage. Maria likes cabbage a lot. Like, a lot more than regular gifts. So, thank you very much. I like cabbage. Let me teach you a delicious cabbage recipe. And we get the rolled cabbage recipe. This is the first recipe we get in the game. I actually thought you needed the kitchen before you could start collecting these. Basically, recipes like are one of the collectibles in the game. You need them to get the best ending. Although, besides just collecting them for the best ending, they serve no purpose in the game. You cannot cook recipes. They literally just sit on a list in your kitchen eventually. But yeah, if you give Maria a cabbage, you'll get the rolled cabbage recipe. Also, cabbage boosts her affection by a good amount. Uh, hello, how are you? I'd be happy if you visited the library between jobs. So she's not a white heart. I have a feeling she's going to change to a blue heart pretty soon. I really hope she does. Because honestly, spring is kind of flying by. Hey, little kitties. You guys are so cute. Yeah, so, yeah, last episode I bought a chicken. That was, like, the big thing I was saving for. For now, the big thing I'm saving for... Hang on. What am I even doing? I'm not supposed to go to Green Ranch. I was on autopilot there. But, yeah, like, the big... Now that I've bought the chicken, the next big thing I'm saving for will probably be the kitchen, which is one of the home expansions. Home expansions are great, and the kitchen is a really good one because it essentially doubles the space you have in your house. And it lets you see the recipes you've collected, and it lets you see the power nuts you've collected. And it gives you a refrigerator so you can store items that you can eat in there. So it essentially gives you a much bigger rucksack for that kind of thing. Very nice, the kitchen. You also need it to get married, so... There's a lot of pros to getting the kitchen. Also, the next two, like, uh, festivals in spring, and the last two festivals in spring, they're the same. Uh, it helps to have a lot of money at, at those. It really does. I'm not gonna say exactly why just yet, but let's, let's just say if we... Actually, she sh why not? I'm watering the plants, I'll say it. So the next festival is going to be the horse race. The horse race, you can bet on which horse will win, and if you are correct in your guess, then you get uh, medals, which can be exchanged for prizes. So if we have money there, that'll really help. This is all today's shit, man, right? I'm taking it, okay? The other one's the Flower Festival, which just sells a lot of stuff there, and uh, all that stuff you uh, buy at the Flower Festival, you can only get at the Flower Festival. So it would help if I have several thousand G for both those festivals, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot. I'll have to buy new crop seeds, obviously, but that's not going to be for a while since I've got cabbage I want to plant next. And yeah, potatoes are very good. Also, helpful to note, Anne really likes potatoes, so you can give them to her and that'll boost her affection by a decent amount. Although, we've got a lot of time to woo Anne, so I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to convert these straight to money. If I had the kitchen, I would save a few in the refrigerator, but... Rucksack space is kind of limited at this part of the game. Yeah, so I looked it up. Cabbage takes seven days to grow. Potatoes, they take uh, six days to grow. Turnips take four. And turnips sell for 70 gold a piece, potatoes sell for 80 gold a piece, and cabbage sells for 90 gold a piece. Whew, hard work. Oh, looks like I'm gonna have to get rid of this rock. So much like the stumps, if you just smash this rock with the hammer several times, it'll break up. No big deal. Looks like I'm going to be staying up late tonight. Ha boy -am. But that's okay, because I got the extra power nut from the goddess. Oh no, that was my last cabbage seed. Shoot. I should buy more seeds from the store, shouldn't I? Actually, no, never mind. 
Yeah, that makes sense. I forgot I'd already planted the ones over here. Come here, horse. That horse is not obeying. Come on, horse. It's like that hymn says. Trust and obey. I know the hymn is talking about God. But I am your God, horse. So I could sell those cabbages and get a nice sum of money for them. But I'm just going to keep them for gifts for Maria. Also, after you hit midnight, all of the music in the game stops. Even, like, the background sound effects for night. It's very eerie. Well, alright. Oh, man. That is the literally perfect. I used every last bit of water in my watering can. So I'm not going to work myself too hard just because rainy days, much easier to get sick. And at this point, if I get sick, it's much more, uh, it's much worse than just losing a day. That means I, that's a day I can't feed my chicken. Which means the chicken will stop laying eggs for a few days after that. And if you don't feed your chicken for a couple days in a row, then it will die. You do not want that. Okay, that's enough. That's enough the watering can. I do declare. Let us sleep. And yeah, you'll notice rainy days. There is no music, just background rain. Oh, looks like it's going to rain tomorrow as well. Sweet. <laughs> That's actually good. So basically what... You know, the first thing I'm going to do is feed my chicken. What rain does, it automatically waters our crops for us. Yay! So we'll have a lot more time today. Uh, that's the barn? I have nothing in the barn. Why did I go in the barn? So yeah, I could sell the egg. I think eggs sell for 50g a piece. But honestly, eggs are very, very good because I can use more wishes from the goddess. So I could use that to boost my love, which would be very nice. That'll help Maria get to the pink heart much more quickly. Also, I could give them to Ellie, and Ellie really likes eggs, so that's also a viable option. I think this will be the day that I start cutting lumber in the mountains. This is a great spot to get lumber. Also, these stumps are not always here. And by that I mean there comes a certain point in the game where these stumps will disappear. And it makes sense. It's not just like, Whoa, one day they were here, the next they're not. It, there actually is an explanation for it. So, it, it can be pretty useful to keep that in mind. Out of here, squirrel. Oh man, it's already getting late in the day. Shoot, I probably should not have spent so much time cutting up little logs. Especially since I have a whole farm that I still need to clean. That was probably a dumb idea. This is the carpenter's hut. I can't believe I haven't been in here yet. So these are the carpenters. Hey, are you the one taking over the farm? Yep, that's me. Hey, are you the guy they say is running the farm now? Nice to meet you. Oh, you're the guy who took over the old man's farm. I can tell you about extensions and mountains. That's the head carpenter. So yeah, if we examine this on the wall, this is a list of all the home extensions we can get. So there's the kitchen, which I already explained. The bathroom, which adds on a little extension to the kitchen, where basically it has a toilet and it's got a bathtub. Both of those can help reduce your stamina and fatigue in the game. Uh, yeah, I should get into fatigue in just a bit. Uh, there's the stairway, which uh, all it really does is add a stairway in your main room. You can go up to the roof. There's really It has no purpose, really. It just looks kind of cool. The greenhouse, which is the most game-breaking thing of all. It's super expensive, but essentially it gives you a second field. Not as big as your initial field, but pretty close to the same size. You can grow any crop there for any season. It has its own shipping bin, its own water spout refill. And best of all, time doesn't pass in there. So yeah, we'll be trying to get the greenhouse before first winter, that's for sure. There's the log terrace, which is basically builds a big deck area behind your house. Again, has no real purpose until the very end of the game. And then the baby bed, which you need the baby bed to have a kid. That's pretty much it. 
Also, fun fact, uh, if you get the bathroom before the kitchen, it basically just adds an outhouse next to your house. It's kind of funny. It's the Harvest Sprites. Hello, hey. Yeah, thank you. Hello, hey. Also, those of you wondering, that's the mine entrance. The mine is only open for a very short time in the winter, and it's closed every other season. Kind of lame, that. I really wish the mine was open at least more than it is in the game. It's closed so much. I forgot I was going to... I was initially planning on putting the egg in the goddess pond, but it's too late in the day to do that now. So instead, I will give it to Ellie as a gift. I'm not going to sell my berry berries. I'm actually going to keep those around. Get a cabbage for Maria. I think today will be the day I show off the bar. The bar is a location I have yet to go to, and it serves a very important purpose in the game. We'll get there eventually. But yeah, you'll notice when we give Maria a cabbage after getting the recipe. Thank you very much! I like cabbage very much. Yeah, she's got a happier sprite than usual. I don't like the rain, but I appreciate what a blessing and a gift it is. I'd be happy if you visited the library between jobs. Okay, she's still at a white heart. We'll get her there, don't worry. Okay, yeah, Rick's open six, 10 to 6, closed Wednesdays and weekends. It's Friday, he should be open, but he's actually closed if it's bad weather. So Rick is closed way too much. It's Ellie! Hey, Ellie. Thanks! Let me teach you, show you an easy way to make pudding. I got the bread pudding recipe. Yep, give her an egg to get the bread pudding recipe. Get a year-end raffle ticket for every 10 stickers you get buying cakes. There are lots of prizes, so collect a lot. Rest when you're tired, okay? Hi, Artie. You sure look like your grandpappy. My grandpappy! <laughs> Dude, you... I mean, come on. I mean, I guess I'm not really friends with him, so it's only natural he'd treat me like a customer and not like a person, but I mean, come on! Alright. Since our crops have already been watered, all that's really left to do is... I'll, I'll visit the bar. It does, the bar doesn't even open until 6. 6 p.m., so... Oh yeah, hi, Tobias. Your shipment gets taken and paid for at 5 o'clock on the dot, the exact same moment Zach enters the screen. So he actually takes all your shipment before he even arrives at the shipping crate. So this is the bar! Welcome, welcome! So this is where basically all the dudes and then Karen hang out uh, after hours. So, like, Kai can be here, Harris can be here. As you see, the Bakery Master Jeff is here, Doug is here. You can also see Gray... Uh, who else? Oh, Karen's father, who we saw briefly, can be, like, right here. This is part of the reason why I wanted the very berries here. One to give Karen? It's not good for the grapes, either. I hope it stops soon. Don't talk to me so much. Also, very useful calendar in here. <laughs> Month of events. 8th planting festival, 17th local horse race, 23rd flower festival. That lets you know when all the festivals are, if you're too lazy to watch the channel. And then there's this guy. Hello, you don't look familiar. Are you a tourist? Oh, that farm. Well, it's good to take on a big challenge when you're young. This guy looks like Regis Philbin, but his name is not Regis. It's Duke. He's Duke the bar owner. And one of the things we should be doing is befriending him. Oh, what? For me? Thanks. The sound of rain fits the bar, don't you think? Yeah, it's important to befriend Regis as much as you can, just... Because, basically, once you get his affection to a certain level, he'll give you a special item. We need that special item to get Karen's photo. But, again, we have until Autumn to get it. Although, admittedly, I would recommend getting it before Autumn. Because that's not the last thing you need to do to get Karen's photo. There's one other step in the process that could take a few days' time. So yeah, I, I personally would recommend trying to get that special item in spring, or at least early summer. Also, there's a menu here. We can order wine, liqueur, beer, milk, or water. Both in real life and in video games, I don't really condone drinking alcohol, so I'm going with water. Well, aren't you the healthy one? Now, for $5,000, what's the most expensive item on the menu? The answer is liqueur, or liquor, however you like to say it. I'm not old enough yet to remember bygone days of sadness, but I have begun to feel sentimental. Huh. Good night, see you tomorrow. 
so you're going to inherit that farm. <laughs> Sorry for laughing. Well, good luck. He doubts me. Nice night, huh? I start grumbling when I drink too much. I start grumbling when I drink too much. Okay, he's definitely drunk too much. Hello, I work at the vineyard. Call me Kai. I totally forgot. I never. I technically never talked to him outside of the cutscene. Yeah, that's Kai. He's uh, he's one of the workers at the vineyard. I understand their daughter's feelings. There are many things in the city you don't find here. I felt those longings. He's talking about Karen. Karen? I haven't gone even over. I haven't even gone over Karen's personality yet. So Karen, you'll notice, is very rude. Her parents basically run the vineyard in town. The vineyard is very run down and not nearly as good as it was back in the day. One of the reasons she's so, like, angry and abrasive is she does not have the best home life. Like, her dad's very grumpy, kind of yells at her a lot. Her mom's, like, kind of depressed right now, very sad, like, doesn't say much. So Karen's kind of got it rough. She ideally really wants to move to the city eventually. And, in fact, if you keep her at a white heart for the entire first year, she actually will leave for the city and never come back. And if you're not friends with Kai, he will leave as well. However, if you get her to at least a blue heart, she will stay in Flowerbud Village, and Kai will eventually marry her. Yeah, Karen really likes to dance, and I know she's super rude right now. If you get, Once you get her to a blue heart, she gets way for, more friendly, and like she actually has probably one of the most profound personalities in Harvestman 64. Despite that, I just don't like her because she's such a jerk when she's at white heart. Plus, she's kind of an alcoholic. Not a huge fan of that. <laughs> that might seem shallow for me to judge her for that, but... Eh. It's more... She's not like an alcoholic. She just really, really likes alcohol. I personally am not a fan, so... It's hard for me to get along with binge drinkers, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, enough talk about alcohol. Let's start clearing our farm a bit more. I should probably save the big stones there, just because they're much quicker to clear out once you get a leveled up hammer. Whereas the small stones will always take the same amount of time to get rid of. Woohoo! Speaking of which, that just upgraded my hammer to the silver hammer. I believe the hammer you need to use 200 times in order to level it up, maybe even 150. I think the hammer's the easiest tool to level up. Okay, it's getting late. I need to go to bed. Yeah, you'll notice I've used my watering can a lot more than I've used my hammer, and yet my hammer is already leveled up. That's because the watering can just takes way more time to level up. Well, another day of rain. But tomorrow will be sunny. Yay! First thing I want to do is feed my chicken. And more importantly, collect the egg. Oh! Enter your chicken's name! The egg I was incubating hatched into a new chicken! Alright! Sweet! Helena. Oh, look at the chick! It's so cute! It's Helena. Aww. Chicks in this are adorable. Alright, so instead of taking that to the goddess, I'm obviously making another chicken with that. So this is a little chick, and nice thing about chicks, you don't have to feed them. See, no, seriously, until they be, grow up to be chickens, you do not have to feed your chicks. And it's so cute! It's like a little peep. Except way better than a peep, because peeps are disgusting. Hi, Doodle! Alright, you two have a very fun time. So this is our lumber bin. We only have 66 pieces of lumber. We really gotta increase that count. <laughs> Alright, flowers for Ellie... It's Saturday, so Rick would be closed regardless. So I think we only need one. Actually, you know what? Let's not leave Anne out of the party. Also, it's important to note, Karen disappears from the game when it's raining. The one exception being if she's working at the bar. People in the bar spawn totally randomly. I think everybody in the bar has like a 50-50% chance of showing up. So there's a chance you could uh, go to the bar and everybody who can show up shows up. There's also a small chance that if you go to the bar, literally only Duke will be there. It's kind of funny. He's Harris. I take care when delivering mail on rainy days. Well, that's good, Harris. Drugstore. Closed weekends. Open 9 to 5. That's the potion shop dealer's house slash place of business. 
Hi, Maria! Love your glasses. Thank you very much. I like cabbage very much. Alright, are you at a blue heart yet? Nope. Also, it's important to note, Maria's affection boosts ever so slightly more than other girls when you just give her a regular gift, like flowers. Granted, Poppery gets a huge boost of affection from flowers. Like, just because that's in her character. But yeah. Basically, every girl, like, or every person in the game, there's stuff that they're kind of neutral on, stuff that they don't like, and stuff that they like more than usual. And on a rainy day, you will always find Anne in the barn. Moo. Hey, Gray. Thank you, Grouchy Pants. You don't want to neglect Anne. Just because you don't have to get her to Pink Heart till winter doesn't mean you should be slacking off. Hi, how are you doing? Nothing's better than being in good spirits. I feel like when the girls are at White Heart, actually, pretty much every villager, when they're at, like, minimum affection for you, they have pretty much only have one or two things that they can actually say to you. Also, yeah, you can clip right through that. It's pretty funny. How's my chicken supply going? Five bags remaining. Yeah, might as well, while I'm here, buy some more. Let's buy 18 more. That is Aaron's room. Stay out of there. Very fine. You can eventually enter the girls' rooms. Only in very spe uh, specific circumstances, though. Opened it at the exact frame I could. Sweet! Oh, hey, Karen is here! Awesome! She does not like the damp, apparently. Yeah, this is Karen's father. Huh? Who are you? Sorry, I'm busy now. Come again later. Huh? Who are you? Didn't you hear me the first time? Karen's father is probably the most difficult person in the entire game to befriend because the only way to boost his affection is by giving him a very specific item in the game that is only available in autumn. So, yeah. That's fun. For you, Regis Philbin, my one and true love. Oh, what? For me? Thanks. Sometimes rain sounds like mysterious music, but other times it sounds like a sad voice. Very wise words, Regis. Very wise words. Blech. I can see why people don't like the rain. I personally love rain, like in real life. But ultimately, my my all-time favorite weather possible is gloom. <laughs> where, where it's like, it looks like it's going to rain, but it's not raining, so you can still go outside. I think that's seriously one of the most beautiful sights in our world today. So our farm's almost totally clear, which is awesome. Remember what a dump it was at the beginning, but now it is getting pretty nice. Yeah, the reason I'm cautious to level up all the time is because you've got stamina, which basically determines whether or not you can use a tool, but you also have fatigue, which is a different stat. Basically, fatigue is like a more long-term thing, where if I water like this a bunch of times in a row, not only is my stamina going to go down, but my fatigue is going to go down as well. And if you're at low fatigue, a couple things happen. One, it means you don't replenish as much stamina when you sleep. And two, it makes it easier to get sick. So basically, if you're in a funk where you've got really, really low fatigue, it's really hard to get high fatigue again because you keep having to do farm work, which depletes your stamina more quickly because you've got low fatigue, which in turn depletes your fatigue even more, making it easier to get sick, harder to get your stamina back up. It's just a vicious cycle. There are a couple things in the game that reduce your fatigue, like medicinal herbs, the things that sell for a lot. You can eat those, and that'll actually reduce your fatigue rather than your uh, increase your stamina. Also, the potion shop dealer sells a potion if you give him a medicinal herb that I think it, it... I can't remember if it increases your stamina by a lot or just increases your fatigue. I don't know. It's been a while since I've played this, so forgive me if my knowledge is not up completely 100% to scratch. I think we got time for another day. Oh, look! It's raining tomorrow as well. That's weird. I, I think... I want to say when you wake up, there's only about a 10% chance that it'll start raining. It's like the next day. I want to say that's true, but maybe not. Yoo-hoo, brother! The chick looks fluffy like cotton candy. 
See ya. Okay, Kent. Yeah, Kent comes to your farm every time something interesting happens like that. Thank goodness that didn't go a little bit farther. We're gonna wish for love. What'll be your wish today? Love, please. Okay, I hear your wish. Keep on working hard. Oh, hi, May. They say my mommy's gone to a faraway place. Here's some flowers to cheer you up. Thank you. I like you a lot. See you. Can't tell if my main guy is like a really nice guy or if he's like a complete creeper who's giving gifts to little kids. You decide in the comments. One other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that potato and give it to Anne. She deserves it. So Anne, on Sundays, there's a 50% chance that she'll show up at the Goddess Pond screen. She wasn't there, so that means she'll be... Oh, hi, Papori. I didn't think you'd be here. Here you go. I'm so happy. Thank you. Hello. That means, yeah, Anne's gonna be over here. It's kind of hard to find. Thank you. Say, I know how to cook one thing now. Mashed potatoes! I'll teach you how! I totally forgot. So, uh, hang on. So we get the mashed potato recipe. Anne's personality. Anne is, as you can imagine, a kind of a tomboy, mainly because her mom died when she was really young, so she basically got raised by her older brother and her dad. So she likes more, like, I'll say rugged activities, like playing outside, like riding horses, like getting her hands dirty, that kind of thing. She's also, like, a terrible cook, apparently. Like, she cannot cook very well at all. Kind of funny. But yeah. She's very cheerful, though. She also really likes animals. Uh, sorry, sorry, Gray. Not The flower's not for you. Flower's for Ellie. Oh, wow! Crowded library today. Yeah, on Sunday, Harris doesn't have to deliver the mail, so he likes to hang out in the library with Maria. Since, uh, he has a crush on her and all. Well, there's no mail on Sundays, so <laughs> that's why I'm in the library. You know, there's a medicine plant growing in the cave. It helps a little bit when you're tired. Thank you, Stu. Stu likes being in here on Sunday as well. Hello, Maria. Do you like books? It's just you come here so often. <laughs> yes, I, I do like books, to be fair. Particular... <laughs> to be honest, I'm more, much more, like, even now, like, I really like kids' books. Even though I'm not a kid anymore. Those are my favorite kind. Oh, shoot, I remembered. It's Sunday! Ellie just vanishes on Sunday. Also, the flower shop is closed on Sunday as well, so keep that in mind. If you think you're gonna need seeds <laughs> on Sunday, make sure you buy them on Saturday. Because honestly, cabbages only take one more day to grow than potatoes, and they sell for ten more G a piece, so it's definitely worth investing in <laughs> uh, cabbages if you've got enough time left in the season. I think technically, if you're looking at it from like a statistical standpoint, it is slightly more profitable to go all to go potatoes than cabbages, because potatoes you can harvest or you can get, I believe, five harvests of potatoes in a given season, whereas you can only get four cabbages. Get out of the way, horse! I don't want to hit you. If you hit your if you hit your animals at all with any kind of tools, they'll get upset, and that'll lower their affection. So don't do that. Well, I mean. It's supposed to lower their affection. If you hit your cows or sheep with tools, there's pretty much a 90% chance that it's actually going to make their affection go way up instead of down. All due to programming bugs, because they always put... Forgot to put some minus signs there. <laughs> it's the hit new workout routine. Are you tired of get running low on stamina? Do you wish your watering can was better? Then do this exercise. One, and two, and three, and four. Put on some awesome exercise music. This will work your abs in no time. And that's where we're going to leave this episode for today. I hope you're enjoying the series. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you tune in for the next episode. Let's see. Oh, it's the 15th. Next episode, we're going to do the horse race. And, oh, we've got several thousand gold. So we'll actually be able to do some uh, gambling. Uh, bet, bet, bet. Anyhow, have a great day. And God bless. And if you are feel inspired by this series then by all means, go out and eat some donuts. Woo!